India, a country with world's cheapest car and the world's costless petrol. <laughs> yes, that's true. Petrol today costs 70 rupees on an average in India, while the price is hovering around 40 rupees in Pakistan and 50 in Sri Lanka. So why exactly is the price so high in India? And if it's that high, how is the Indian government managing the price sensitive consumers who expect and who demand free dhania with the vegetables? in such a hefty price. It all began when the global crude oil prices started plummeting faster than Vijay Malaya's bail. To give you an idea, crude oil was costing $106 per barrel in July 2014, but by January 2016, you could buy a barrel for just $26. However, an average Indian had no clue about this crash, and since the Indian consumers had gotten accustomed to paying such high prices for these fuels, the officials sitting in Delhi decided to take advantage of the situation, so typical, and they sneakily bumped up the excise duty on these fuels between 2015 and 2016. In a series of hikes, the excise duty on petrol was increased by 12 rupees and that on diesel by 13 rupees. But the consumer had no clue about these hikes because he was still paying the same amount. <laughs> According to the latest data, dealers receive petrol for 30 rupees a litre, which means you are paying nearly 40 rupees of taxes for every litre of petrol. Matlab kuch zada nahi ho gaya. Now here's the thing, GST, short form for goods and services tax, or what teenage girls think, good night sweet dreams and cake, <laughs> came into effect on July 1st. Everybody was excited because GST meant one nation and one tax. And let's face it, India has too many taxes. But to everybody's disappointment, petroleum wasn't included under GST, which means it continues to be under VAT regime. Matlab, chicken bolke kawa biryani khila. So how exactly would you be benefited if petroleum was indeed included under GHT? Now GHT has 5 taxation slabs, 0, 5, 12, 18 and 28%. At 12% GHT, petrol will be costing 38 rupees a litre in Delhi, which is 32 rupees cheaper than the current price. At 18% GHT, it will still be costing 40 rupees a litre. And at 28% GHT, which is a tax slab reserved for luxury items, and I don't know if petrol is a luxury item, it will still be costing 43 rupees 44 paisa. Now, that's a very affordable luxury item, I must say. Let's see what people have to say about this. What is petrol made of? Petrol made of? Actually, you're a common sense. <laughs> <I am. laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, Petrol, uh, I don't know. Made of oil or oil. kerosene? Kerosene? Yeah. It's made of kerosene. Is it made of kerosene? No, it's not made of kerosene. Uh -huh. What's the raw material? Is it some oil? Some kind no, of oil? No, it's not oil, definitely. It's, it's not no. oil. No. Something like crude oil or something. Um, uh, what do you think crude oil is? Crude, I think uh, I saw a film. Crudes. Uh, crude. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Why is petrol so costly? See, it, it all depends on uh, like economic country. In uh, India, it is high. In other countries, it is 28 rupees uh, yeah, yeah, per yeah. liter. Pakistan and is 40 rupees. Yeah, Pakistan is 40 rupees, uh, and in Arab countries, they uh, they are abundance of fuel, so it's uh, very. Water is costlier there. Yeah. So and uh, compare India. And uh, I don't know about that, but what if I say that the actual cost of petrol is 30 rupees yeah. and 40 rupees is the tax that we are paying? How would you feel? Um, I would feel really bad about it. Yeah. But that's the truth. Yeah. But then they argue that you know all this money, that 40 rupees that they are taking from you for every liter of yes, petrol, yes, yes. they're building hospitals, they're building schools for your kids. That could be good. That's what I said. That whatever I am investing yeah, to the yeah, government. Do that, that could be good. It could be good. But do you think they are doing? Do you see that they are doing? Uh, just now they started. No, so no. Oil market is crashing since 2015, yeah. right? Yes. But the price that we are paying for petrol is the same. Yes. Yes. It's still 70, right? Back then we were paying 80. Now it's 70. Yes. But in Pakistan it's 40 rupees. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> no, actually to be frank, I didn't feel it. Yeah. I didn't feel like... Uh, you didn't feel uh, that you are paying more? No, 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 I'm paying more. Oh, paying Instead, more. I'm not getting in other aspects. Yeah. Like, what I'm paying to the government, like, uh, we are not getting in other still, aspects. We are still standing on pothole. <laughs> yeah. How yeah. do you feel in standing inside the pothole? It's, it's something uh, really embarrassing, but we have to get out of it. We have to. <laughs> Shall we step aside? <laughs> there's no nice roads. You can see potholes everywhere. No, there's no nice roads. Can... Change over, but... Utna, uh, like, jitna tax le rahe, uske uh, se, no. Those are the change. Those are the change. Those are the change. So, what is this GST? GST, GST, low bowl. It's a goods and service tax, and I have no idea about it. We googled it, but I didn't get completely. <laughs> <laughs>
we need to pay the tax together the state and the uh, yeah mm. state and the normal one mm. the countries mm. that's it you know you know alcohol and petrol fuel they are not under gst yet. yeah they are under vat yeah so you know if they put under gst the the cost of petrol will come to 40 rupees yeah so do you think they should Yeah, definitely they have to. They have to. <laughs> it's all that. Yeah. If you had got petrol for let's say even forty rupees, yeah. Where would you go in, on your pulsar? I would uh, roam around in Bangalore. What uh, else? Would you like to take a politician as a profession? I have a Swiss might. bank account. No, 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 no. no. I don't be like. Be an honest politician. Nah, that's not possible here. Yeah. <laughs> that's not even if you're honest. Like people make you cut up. You know. Yeah, that's like there's no. Hundred percent. There is no possible that. Uh, so you do corruption. In a right way. In a right. In a right way. Yeah. In a right way. <laughs> yeah. I'll vote for you. Now it looks like the central government is the bad guy over here. But if you look closely, apart from the 25 percent VAT that the state governments charge, as much as 42 percent of the central excise also go to the states. Which means state governments will have a lot to lose if petroleum is indeed included under GST, and they are the ones who are opposing this. With the elections closing in, there's a reason for the lion to make the zebra happy. Central government announced a two rupees cut in the excise duty and directed the state governments to let go some of their VAT. Gujarat became the first state to reduce the VAT by four percent, and other states are following suit. A lot of people are happy with the significant price reduction of as much as five rupees a liter, but a lot more are eagerly waiting for inclusion of petroleum under GST. Do give us a shout out in the comment section below if you think petroleum should be included under GST. My name is Falun Shinoy and I'll see you in the next week's episode of What the Week.